Welcome back to the channel. It's been a long time. I've been hiding. No, I've been really busy, to be fair. Um, but I thought I'd um, do a new video showing you my tools. So I'm in the van, nicely lit up, lovely jubbly. So first of all, I will go through what I've got. These are called the PG Freeze by, I think it's pronounced All Rock. I'm probably saying it wrong, Al Rock, All Rock. So they are, I don't know if you can see it. Let me get out. No, I'm still in. No, can you see it? Focus. Focus, focus, focus. It's not focusing because it's picking me up. Anyway, they're All Rock, Al Rock, PG Threes. They take off the outer sheath of a cable, but you just got to be um, quite, what's the word, careful. You don't damage the cable. You've got these sharp wheels here. Um, obviously, that's going to go into the insulation, but you don't want to get into the um, screen wires. You don't want to damage them when you're ringing it. Same here. You peel. It peels off. You've probably seen the videos that I do. That peels it rings it and then that scores down the cable <whistles> also got the fours they're slightly bigger than the freeze they're the freeze they're the fours um but i haven't been using the freeze because i've been using this little tool which is the ripley us 15. can you see it us 15 quite a neat little tool. I wish I had a bit of cable to demonstrate, but I don't. So you've got, I don't know if you can see it there, there's like a little blade. I'll see if I can just, can you see that? That's got a little blade and you can set the depth of that blade and that can take, you can ring the cable to take your outer sheath off. So you've got different setting can you see the settings there you go you can change it so you can have that'll do like uh your ring cut there and then you can change it i don't know if you can see them three lines the three lines and then it'll spiral up the cable and you just get a knife at the end of the cable and it just whips off so i have been using that because i feel like it's more safer than this there's more chance of using uh, the PG threes and damaging the cable than that because if you set that tool, you, you're not going to go in. Whereas this, I could give it to like say if there's, I don't know, me and someone else, we could all go at different depths. We could, might not go in too deep, or we could go in too deep and damage the cables. But if I set that that for the right cable, give it to uh, two or three people, you'd still get the same result. So yeah, I'm I'm liking that tool. But that's the Ripley US 15. If you want to see a video of me using that, let me know. I'll get one up. Right, next on the list. Next on the list, we've got, oh yeah. Everyone knows about this now, I'd imagine. The US 02 7005 Ripley Semi Stripper Tool. It's probably the best one I've used. Um, the reasons why it's good, you don't need any lubrication to take the semiconductor layer off because it has these wheels there. So that goes around the cable and you just go <whistles> set the depth there. That's how you set the depth of that blade. That blade is absolutely sharp. That one there, it is sharp. Got to be careful. Um, so there's this little, this, this black spinny knob here, that tightens, can you see that, them wheels, so that'll grip onto the cable, you tighten that, that grips onto the cable. Uh, we've got this dial here, which is the depth of that blade, so you can, you know, depending on how you want to set the blade for the cable, you can adjust it there, so that does that, and then we've also got this little dial at the bottom, this little knob, I don't know if you can see it, try and get it in focus, there. That basically, um, you've got a number one there, there's a number two there, and then we've got a stop. 
So I just leave it at number one because I I feel like that gives off the the best result. So number one, that just that angles this this wheel here. I don't know if you can see it if I can move it. It basically I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but when I move that, it moves that wheel. So when I spin that tool around, it'll follow the cable. But when I click, if I click it onto stop like that, it'll just, instead of carrying on down the cable, it'll stop like that. And then that's your screen cut, that'll stop there. So you don't go any, you don't go too far. So that's the Ripley USO2 probably the best best stripping tool I've ever used now I do have probably it's little brother which I'm not really a fan of it doesn't give off um, the a, well not as smooth as finish I, I feel like when you use this tool you have to sand it down so this is the WS76 what it does so don't know if you can see that. Say if that's like a normal uh, semicon cut there, you've got, I don't know, 30 mil or something. That this tool goes down to 30 mil. You can get you can get down here at 30 mil. Sorry, let me show you that there. You can go down to 30 mil with that original tool. This tool, if you ever need to, you can get down to seven. To seven mil, I, th I think is that seven mil. That looks crazy. I've never, I've never had to use it, but you can go down a lot closer to the sheath cut with this tool, and you can go backwards as well, I believe. But I haven't really used it because I haven't needed to, and when I have used it, it hasn't give off the best of finishes. I've, I've tried it, but I've had to then sand it because it's not, it's not really good. So my go-to is always going to be this, unless. I need to go lower than 30 mil. I hope that makes sense. I'm sorry if I'm just blabbering on, but I hope that makes sense. So yeah, that's the WS76. I haven't really used it much, but this is my go-to. Now, obviously, um, these are for the, I, I say it's obvious, it, it's not obvious, but for people that don't know, these tools are for when the semiconductive layer is bonded um now there's also i've got another tool which takes well it doesn't actually take anything off it scores so there's there's other type of uh, semiconductive layer which there's another type of semiconductive layer which is easy peel now i do have one of these for like the 11 kvs well it's 0.4 i have used the boddington's one which is low, it's really good, but it's expensive. It's a bit of plastic and it's like 500 quid or something. I do like that, but it's a lot of money for what it is. So at the minute I use this to score down the cable and then use like a, a small round file for the uh, circumference cut thing. Uh, so yeah, that's that one. That's just like got a little blade. If I can get that out. Can you see it? No, if I put my hand there, can you see it? That's, that has a 0.4 mil of a bit of a blade on it. That just scores it. So there we go. That's that one. Um, what house do I have? Um, right, I've got what I like to call the insulation blocks, the insulation removal tools. These do what they say on the tin, they remove the insulation. So this one, <clears throat> this one is 25 to 240, Does it, can you see that? So I use this on the smaller cables. It's good because it's got this handle so you can go like that with it and it's it just sits nice and it's, it's a good tool. This is my favorite one, but obviously it's my only one to remove the insulation. The one that I don't like is this big bad boy. Like, I would prefer it. Please let me know if anyone's watching, if they know. 
because in the past I have used one with that red handle. Like if we can manufacture like that red handle to somehow go on here because when you're like, uh, uh, it's like, it's just annoying. It's too big and bulky. And sometimes when you're in a tight space, you're banging on the sides and everything. So that's, that one is, this is just the Alrock LH2. Um, it does have 38 to 60, if that means anything. But yeah, that, that's the, the one that I use for the bigger cables. So that's that one. Um, what else do I have that I haven't showed you? Oh, yes, 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 yes. This is the Alrock Angle. LHA60. Can you see that? This tool, oh, I'm in focus. This tool uh, puts a chamfer at the edge of the cable. So some uh, terminations or whatever uh, re require like um, a stress tube, like a stress controlled tube that goes over um, stress comb. And to make it easier to apply it, you put a little chamfer. So when you put the cone on, all this, because normally you put silicon grease inside the tube and the cable if you didn't put a chamfer on it the tube would then well the cable actually would collect all the grease so if you put a little chamfer in it it just makes the application a lot easier so that's that one if you can see it and i think that's all my jointing tools i do have other bits like i've got i've got here i got my bandsaw I do, probably next year, want a smaller one. Because look how big that is. You can put my head in between it. It's massive. And it's heavy. Like, do you know what I mean? I've got poppered on wrists. So when I'm cutting cable one hand, I'm going to snap. I'm going to be risking a snap. So that's that. I want the M12 one. I used to have it at another company I worked at. And it was bob on for what I used it for. Oh, I'll tell you what, I'll show you. This little bad boy. Obviously, I've got all the um, drills and stuff, SDSs and things like that. But that's the boring stuff. I've got this little bad boy. You would have seen him in a few of my videos. M12 torque wrench. So you can set, set it on the screen. And then it beeps. Really good bit of kit. And I do have some smaller torque wrenches as well, just in case that's a bit bulky, because it can be a bit bulky in some of the spaces we work in. Um, now, oh, I'll tell you what else I've got. Can you see that? Stick pump. Milwaukee stick pump. Very handy. Handy if you've got a bit of a, what do you call it, a bit of water in your joint bay or some or wherever you're working. Um, and that is about it, really. Um, I obviously I rock veto bags. I've got one veto bag there and another little veto bag there. If got any questions or want to know any more want to see any more tools or whatever let me know in the comments below i'm just editing the video you're watching now if you haven't seen my last video make sure you click here somewhere somewhere here and watch it because it'll be good for me and you